Well, hello, hello. It is a happy Friday here, and I thought I would share a video on how I make the Elvis shake, which is actually peanut butter and banana. So um, there's several ways to do it, depending on what products you have. And so let's get started with the basics. First of all, this is a 16 ounce cup. I, how much do you do water to ice ratio and that kind of thing? So I take my cup, fill it with ice, and then I pour about three quarters of the way with water. So that's what I put in my blender. So you can see, um, and that just seems to give me a really smooth, smooth shake. So I've already done that, but I wanted to show you how I do that. So we'll talk about cups more later. So <clears throat> the basics for doing it is the first way would be two scoops of the protein cookie, um, protein drink mix and two scoops of banana caramel. There's your peanut butter and your caramel. But what if you don't have these at home? So let's say you don't have the peanut cookie um, protein. You can have, if you've got the vanilla, put two scoops of vanilla, two scoops of banana, and add in a tablespoon or scoop of PB2, or this is powdered peanut butter dry. This is the Great Value brand, the store brand. Um, you can add the Sam's brand, but I add a scoop or a tablespoon, heaping tablespoon in there. And there I've got my peanut butter banana. Um, if you don't have the banana and you only have cookies and cream or vanilla healthy meal, oops, right now this is the dulce, but let's say this is your cookies and cream because you started out with these two. You can add in sugar-free, a tablespoon of sugar-free banana cream jello pudding, okay, to get that banana flavor. Um, Herbalife also has a banana, a dry banana. I only add a um, half a teaspoon of this banana dry, but if you don't have a coach um, and, or an, aren't a distributor or a preferred member yourself, well, you can order these, um, but they do have a dry, and this really does give it a strong banana flavor. So, but do you need it? No. Or you can go ahead and add in like a half of chopped banana, put it in your blender as well and do it with the banana, real banana. So that are, those are like three ways that you can get the same flavor, uh, peanut butter banana, um, by what you have. So I hope that helps you with that. So I've blended it up. So now let's talk about serving it. So in my cup, because I use these plastic cups, um, I like to add a little bit to decorate the cup. If you're putting it in a regular tumbler, maybe you don't want to do this, that's fine too. I just like to dress it up and pretty because I'm a little extra. And those who know me know that's true. So I have some sugar-free chocolate syrup. Uh, it's very low on calories, so you're only getting a drip in here. I got these containers at uh, Dollar Tree and um, put them in here because it makes it a smaller drip surface. So I just dress it up. I'm gonna dress up the top. Also gonna be adding whipped cream. I usually don't on my day-to-day -day teas, uh, I'm sorry, my day-to-day -day protein shakes. I don't add a lot of whipped cream myself unless I feel like it, but you can get a um, sugar-free whipped cream. This is the Great Value brand. This is the extra creamy that you can get. And then there's the original. This, even the extra creamy for two tablespoons is 15 calories. So it's not a whole lot. It has less than one carb, uh, one gram of fat. So it's not adding a whole lot to it if you want that little bit of extra to enjoy your shake. So basically I just drip some chocolate on there. I mix this up. It's nice and smooth. Um, another thing you can add if you um, want to is also the sugar-free cheesecake pudding. So if you're really looking for, I wanna say it's just like a creamy, I don't know what it does, but I add for the little calories that it's adding to me, to my shake, sometimes I'll add in a tablespoon of this, but since I already had put in the banana flavor, I didn't really need to add this. 
but this is kind of a staple, the Jell-O cheesecake and also the white chocolate. Again, Herbalife also has these two and they're stevia based. Um, so if you want to get them from there and you don't have a coach, please contact me. I can sure help you with it. But so what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna go ahead and shake this up. But it's really easy to come up with different flavors, especially if you're starting with, um, if you're starting with just vanilla protein and vanilla or cookies and cream, you can dress them up with syrups, um, puddings, sugar-free puddings. Um, the skinny syrups have flavors too. You can add those in and you can make a number of probably 20, 30 different flavors. Extract, you can add maple. So I just squirted around the outer edge because I'll show you what I'm going to do. Since I obviously had more left in here and never like it to go to waste, I just did it on the outer edge so I could just pour right in the top. And there you have it. That's how I make my Elvis peanut butter banana protein shake. So this has um, 200, probably, I'd probably say 225 calories because I'm adding in the chocolate, the um, syrup, the whipped cream. And uh, so let's go 225 calories, 24 plus grams of protein because I did add in a tablespoon of the PB2 just because I wanted to. Um, but it can go anywhere from 200 calories to 225 or so, okay? So it's a good deal, it's good for you. So if you have any questions, please reach out to me if you, if you make a comment on here. I do respond as quickly as possible. If you don't have a coach and you're looking for information on recipes, please comment and reach out to me and I will be glad to share with you. Make it a great day. Be kind to yourself, be kind to others.